Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, you know, I saw something um, just yesterday. I was kind of looking around the internet and uh, I'd like to find out, you know, what, what, what people are concerned about it regarding health. And uh, I saw something on MS, multiple sclerosis. And they said, well, new findings um, has shown that uh, this is parasites in your, you know, all these parasites have gotten into your your uh, nervous system and they're they're gotten into your spinal cord and uh, that's the problem and then the person sort of said I did a few things and I got the systemic enzymes and um, yeah I feel so much better so um, I said this is great you're in the right track but let's take it a step further because basically if you look at my um, uh, you know cancer protocol uh, which I have right here the care in the mirror um, and nature's protocol for surviving cancer and uh, yes your body can cure itself of any disease including cancer and including um, multiple sclerosis um, you know you really got to go through this parasite cleanse to begin with so and that's what uh, you know my parasite killer protocol and so I want you to clear your blood I want you to clean it I want you to get rid of all the bacteria viruses yeast mold and fungus I want you to do that in your digestive tract and in the blood. And how are we going to do that? Well, par parasite killer is one of them. Uh, the, um, uh, of course, the uh, parasite killer formula, which has got 13 different powders in it that are meant to kill everything in the digestive tract. We're going to use bismuth. We're going to use um, bismuth, which we're going to swallow. Bismuth is a mineral. It's liquid. You're going to take it down. They put that in Pepto-Bismol. Uh, but that's going to take care of a lot of bacteria, including H. pylori, which is what causes um, stomach ulcers. And, um, of course, silver, silver getting right into the blood. Uh, again, you hold the silver right in your mouth. It goes into sublingual duct, directly into the bloodstream. That's how I got, I got over meningitis back in 2012, which is a killer. And I got through that, no problem. So, um, uh, well, anyway. So there's another one, bioactive silicate, um, because she was mentioning in this thing, you want to get rid of this biofilm. Yes, biofilm. But biofilm is that slippery substance or slipperiness. You know, you pick up a, a glass and it's all slippery and slimy. That's biofilm. Well, that gets inside your body along with nanobacteria, and that gets inside your arteries and builds up. And so uh, bioactive silicate creates this surface so it doesn't, it's no longer can kind of stick to the body. And so it just washes out and uh, you get rid of this biofilm and, and, uh, and nanobacteria, which gets inside, which is about one tenth of the size of normal bacteria. So, and so you go through this cleanse and um, of everything. And then you go on a fast. I want you to stop eating. What is a fast? A true water fast and drink, you're drinking tons of water every day. Now, if you go through all my entire protocol, I tell you, you know, when you're fasting, you can take minerals. You can take a lot of a lot of supplements that are not food, like MSM, as an example, or vitamin D, or some of your other vitamins. Um, they're not food, so you're not having to digest those foods. You don't want to digest anything in a fast. You just want to drink water and nothing else. But I want you to stay mineralized. It's very important. You, um, you know, I want I have an, an electrolyte blend of, uh, of powder, or and I've got one of liquid. Uh, I want you to stay, especially the magnesium, that's your heart mineral, but I want you to get all these electrolytes throughout your body. And uh, so you're not, you know, you again, the main problem you were thinking about is a heart attack. But um, so you can take, you know, a calcium supplement as a, any kind of mineral that would be good, a full spectrum mineral. And so when I'm fasting, I'm taking like shilajit is another one. Shilajit is like a clay. It comes from Himalayas. And, um, you know, or a dirt, you know, it's very Italian fulvic acid. You could take fulvic acid. I have some right here. I took some this morning. I have capsules, um, humic acid, um, because those are natural, but they're not food. So you want to stay away from the food and, and then just cleanse that body. So if you want to address MS, uh, you're drinking a lot of water. Alkaline ionized water is the best water in the world. I've written um, my best-selling book on that since so its third edition, Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. And you want to do that. And then um, you want, you know, you want to be drinking the water. You want to take your minerals. You can do anything that's inert, inert. 
Um, so there's lots of supplements, as like minerals are a good example. And then you're going to finish that off. So you're going to kill everything in the digestive tract. And then at the end of it all, you're going to take your probiotics. Okay, that's the friendly biotics, friendly bacteria, I should say, uh, or spore biotics. I, I have a spore biotic. A spores are, you know, they're like, like bacteria, but they're spores. They're more temperature stable. Uh, they get into the body, they're cultured, and that's what you want. You know, we're, you know, there's, there's probably 60 trillion bacteria in the body. So keep that in mind. There's 30 trillion viruses in the body at any time. So they're obviously not all viruses and not all bacteria are, are unhealthy. Um, and some of them are very healthy for us. Some of them, uh, you know, you talk about E. coli, just as an aside, uh, it's really E. coli is a bacteria. It's really not that dangerous. It's the toxins in, in the waste that it, 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 it gives off or that it produces the, the toxic waste. That's the killer with E. coli, just, a, just as an aside. And that's what a lot of these virus or uh, bacteria, they, you know, it's their waste that actually ends up causing a huge amount of problem in the body and becomes so poisonous. So at any rate, um, you want to go back into the probiotics. So I like Saccharomyces boulardii. That's a, that's a yeast. That's a probiotic. That's good for the lower digestive tract. But you want to replace all that after you've killed everything in the blood. So, but give it three days. And, um, and then, you know, go back and we can talk about a detox. And what is a detox? Are those are, it, this is going to be a detoxifying experience in and to itself. And detoxification symptoms are headaches, rash, diarrhea, fatigue. So keep that in mind. You might not feel good for a little bit, but, you know, MS doesn't feel very good. <laughs> Cancer is even worse. So, you know, you got to get over these things. And you can. Uh, it takes a little fortitude. Um, you know, I fasted, as in, just as an aside, for three days um, uh, over, may I say, it was around Easter time. And um, I'll tell you something, uh, I, I didn't experience any kind of detox symptoms at all because I'm constantly cleansing myself. And by the way, for MS, I highly recommend a fire infrared sauna. Now I can, I can if you ever want to contact me, I can tell you which one uh, I promote, which is Clearlight. Um, and I think they're a good company. But I use that at least once, twice a week. Um, sometimes more just because I'm working and I don't really have time to do all of that. But uh, I really do that, that really get in there and just sweat from the inside out. That is so, you know, so good for your health. And, um, you know, all these bad bacteria and all these yeast, mold, and fungus, they don't like this environment when you're doing that. And you're sweating these things right out of your body. So it's pretty amazing. So I highly recommend getting one of those. Get yourself a water ionizer. Now, I'm one of the largest importers in the U.S. I can hook you up with one of those. And uh, that's what you really want to do. You want to, you know, get yourself a water ionizer, get a fire infrared sauna. Don't put a, don't put a price on your health because what good is your health if you're dead? I mean, what, what good is anything if you're sick? You can't help people. You become such a detriment. So don't put a, don't put a, um, um, a price on your health. Don't ever do that. And um, so that's what I recommend. Then you go through a detox, and that's a whole different story, but that I have a detox formula. You would take things like chlorella, which is a fiber that pulls it out of the body. Um, shilajit is also good. Uh, brown seaweed extract, which is concentrated kelp. Now, it's a food, so you're going to take that after you go through the parasite killer. So when you go through the parasite killer, there's no food there. It's just going to kill all the bacteria, yeast, mold, and fungus, uh, the viruses that are in your body and your digestive tract. And, um, and then you're just going to be, uh, you know, uh, clear of that. But that's how you get on top of MS. That's how you get up on top of cancer. This is how you begin the healing process. Your body can cure itself of any disease. And if you're sick, it's because you allow yourself to remain sick. I know you can, you know, I'm not going to die of a disease. I know I'm going to die. I'm really not worried about it. You know, God will take you when he's ready. That's my opinion. And, um, but I'm not going to die of a disease. How about that? Most people say you get old and you, you know, you know and you get sick and you, and you have disease. No, you, you live on the wrong diet and you get disease. Get, getting old has nothing to do with disease. That's why I still run a six minute mile. I brag about that all the time because it just shows you this is and I'm 66 and you, this is what you can do if you really are determined and just get determined. And live on a, a diet of raw foods and vegetables. That's another thing. Don't don't be eating all these fried foods. I mean, you got cancer. You got you. You look at your diet. 
Now, if you've been eating corn chips and Doritos and potato chips and all this garbage food, things, you know, little cakes out of a box that you make and brownies, this is just garbage. I mean, it tastes good. I love to eat it myself, but you stay away from it because it's garbage. You're putting all this sugar into the body. It's really bad for you, really bad for your overgrowth. This is how you end up with yeast mold and fungus. You know, you really got to get on top of that. Um, and so and stop putting these bad foods into your body. Soft drinks. You, you're just poison. This is poison. All this Gatorade is another one. A lot of these uh, products that you find drinking and monster drinks and all this kind of, it's just garbage. It's garbage. Um, and I don't put any of that into my body. And I'm always, you know, I fast about 15 hours a day. And um, I'm at a level of health. I mean, I feel so fantastic. I always feel uh, full of energy and I'm not tired and I'm not dragging and I have mental clarity. I take things from my brain. We'll get into all that some other time. But um, this is how you start if you want to get rid of the parasites in your body. Um, papaya seed powder is really good for doing that. Um, but you really got to go on that fast. But, you know, if you got something like MS, it's so painful. Um, everyone that has, has had it will tell you this. And uh, are there parasites throughout the body? Yeah, sure, because you haven't been taking the probiotics. You haven't been doing that. And so um, this is how you start. This is how you get going. I'm going to tell you, uh, there's nothing, there's, not, there's no disease the body can't cure. And if you want to go to the medical route, go to the medical route. Go, go to the doctors, put yourself in their hands, and good luck to you. And if you want to go to the, the health route, you can do it yourself. It's an empowering message. I know you can do this. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm never sick. I haven't been sick in so long, but then I do these things all the time so I don't get sick. And so I have this incredible level of health, and I feel fantastic. So Dr. Bob, um, go to uh, drbobmacaulay.com. It's down below. And look at some of the products. Give us a call if you're not sure. I'll send you my Parasite Killer Protocol. You can get my book, which has the entire uh, system in it. Tells you Half the book tells you why you don't want to go to the medical establishment for anything. The other half tells you what you need to do to cure yourself of any disease, including cancer, the emperor of diseases, and uh, all this research and all this stuff they're doing in the medical establishment. Um, you know, good luck to you. I don't think it's really going to lead to a cure for anything. The medical establishment has never cured a single disease. Um, and, you know, that's just the way I approach it. I approach it naturally. And um, your body can always cure itself of any disease. Believe me. Trust me. Dr. Bob. See you guys next time.